The long-standing claims of child abuse in children's homes in North Wales were not claims, they were true. The investigators say they found significant evidence of systemic and serious sexual and physical abuse over a 30-year period. The offences were against girls and boys aged between 7 and 19. What the long-term effect on them has been is not yet clear. Those carrying out the abuse, there were 84 of them, predominantly male but included nine women. And as a result of this new investigation, a further 76 new potential victims have come forward. Porica Brown has this report. The police don't like using the expression paedophile ring. Today's report talks about systemic abuse at 18 institutions over 50 years. A reminder of what a tragic misnomer, care home, turned out to be. Even for people who have followed this story closely, today's report is a surprise. A surprise at the scale of abuse across Wales. A surprise that so many new people have come forward saying their lives were damaged too. A surprise that after multiple reviews and inquiries, after almost half a century, this story is still not over. Since the start of the investigation in October, 140 people have made allegations relating to their time in care. For over half of those, it's the first time they've spoken to police. Offences have been reported at 18 care homes across North Wales and include allegations of abuse by 84 people, 16 of whom were named by more than one person. Last week, the first arrest. There will be more. Hey, can you tell us whether any of those 84 are completely new names that weren't on anyone's radar before? Well, again, I don't think it's appropriate to speculate on the names of, 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 of alleged offenders at this stage. Are any of them famous? Again, it would be inappropriate to speculate on the details of, 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 of individuals. Can you even tell us what percentage of those worked in the care system? Well, all the allegations relate to people who have been working in the care system. That's the alleged perpetrators, this one of the victims. Several of Steve Meesham's abusers were sent to prison in the 90s. He's the one who wrongly implicated Lord McAlpine in the flawed BBC investigation which sparked this police operation. This is his first interview since apologising publicly. So when you saw the report today, how did you react? How did you feel? I, I felt good, good for a minute or two. And then I felt it just shows you North Wales Police did not do their job. Like I've always said, they never did their job. I stand by that. I think you're going to find there's going to be a lot more arrests. There were seven convictions the last time North Wales Police investigated this in the 90s. But why are so many new complainants just coming to the surface now? 76 people felt that they couldn't come forward back then. Well, of course, uh, a couple of things to bear in mind around that. I think, first of all, society and their expectations and acceptance of child abuse and sexual offences I think has shifted considerably uh, as the last few months have shown. Uh, also the police service and this force is in a far different place now than it was in 1991. Steve Meesham has spent the last six months in a psychiatric hospital. He gets discharged tomorrow. When people talk about abuse, people talk about survivors of abuse. Yeah. Do you feel like a survivor? Well, up to now I'm a survivor. Whether I'll be a survivor next year or the year after, who knows? That's how I feel. I can't see me living my life fully. Um, to be quite honest with you, I think my life will end a lot sooner than it should. Why do you say that? because it's so hard to cope with and live with. This man's story, for better or worse, is the complicated, flawed, ongoing story of the North Wales care home abuse scandal.